This question is from gate 2022. Mechanical engineering paper set 2. Question number 13. Consider the definite integral. That is integration 1 to 2 of 4x square plus 2x plus 6 with respect to x. Let i be the exact value of the integral. If the same integral is estimated using Simpson's rule with 10 equal subintervals, the value is is. The percentage error is defined as e equal to 100 into i minus is upon i. The value of e is dash. Let's find out. So the definite integral is given as integration 1 to 2, 4x square plus 2x plus 6 of dx. So this definite integral we have to calculate for a quadratic polynomial. Now we should take a hint from the marks allotted to this question. So this is a question for one mark. Calculating the IE and IS values separately will be time taking and we should take a hint from this that the answer should not be calculated using the long method of finding IE and IS. You should have some prior information regarding Simpson's rule. So there are basically two Simpson's rule which is one third Simpson's rule and three eight Simpson's rules. For one third Simpson rule we know that it exactly evaluate value for a quadratic polynomial because it is based on quadratic interpolation. Also 3 8 Simpson's rule is based on cubic interpolation and therefore this rule can estimate exact value for a cubic polynomial or a polynomial having a degree less than 3. So any of the Simpson's rule if we use to estimate the value of this polynomial it is going to give you the exact value and therefore we know that i will be equal to is. In that case error e will be equal to they have defined the error i e minus is upon i e into 100. Because they are equal to each other difference is 0 we have the error as 0. Let's go back and mark this answer error is 0. 0 is given in option d the value of error e is 0. To learn more about definite integrals you can refer to the NPTEL video lecture 49. Definite Integral Part 1. It's from the course Basic Calculus 1. It is taught by Professor Arindama Singh. The professor is from Department of Mathematics of IIT Madras. I hope the solution helps you clear your doubt. Thank you.